I'm Mel Varner, and you're watching New Music Director. Your artists, your music, your link. Everything that's going on is very surreal. I get more used to it as the days go by, but a lot of times I find myself like, am I really here right now? The strangest thing about the attention I get, I'm having to realize how important I am to a lot of people. It's a huge responsibility. When I was 15, the first song I wrote was Thankful on the guitar. Playing one string, which is how I wrote the whole song with one string, people loved it. I'm just now starting to really feel the full confidence of what I do, but that was the beginning of the journey. I think the best music comes from a pure place. My album, it took a lot of soul searching. I was striving for perfection until I said, eh, enough with it, and named it Perfectly Imperfect. Said, just you gotta stop somewhere. I only want to give it to you. When I wrote that song, I wrote it on a guitar and it sounded like a French folk song. It was totally different. The vision for it that was set forth by my manager, Jeff Robinson, and Peter Edge. I didn't, I didn't really see it per se, the hip hop beat and the bass line, I was like, mm, I don't know. So to see it come full circle and for people to love it and for it to work was amazing. From the video and all the color, I think it was a perfect way to say, hi, I'm Elle Varner. There's a song called Not Tonight and 80% of the guys that have listened to the song have cried on the first listen. It's very sad, heartfelt, heartbreaking. The lyric is maybe in another life, I could be the girl who walks up to the guy and tells him how she feels inside, but not tonight. This came from a seminar I was at and I saw this hot guy and I wanted to talk to him and I wouldn't. I just took that small experience and expanded upon it. Music for me and songwriting is putting on an invisible cape and I get to be invisible and say whatever I want. Soundproof room, for example, or I don't care, like there were real situations that inspired those songs but you may or may not know because it's just a song. That's my way of saying what I couldn't say just as a regular person. I say it through, through music. Pre-gaming in Miami with my girlfriends and I was like, refill, can I get a refill? <laughs> I feel like my mind is like a Tetris, always moving things around. It's weird how my mind works. Sometimes it just comes right through me and I almost like blank out, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I deal with heartbreak, I deal with rejection, I deal with nerves, I deal with all these things that's part of the human experience and I put it in songs because I have to get it out some, some kind of way. It's just coming from a place of female strength and vulnerability at the same time. So you have songs like So Fly that are very encouraging. I remember the night I wrote So Fly, I was fed up. I had a crush on this boy. He didn't get it. He didn't get the signals, he didn't get the hint, he didn't get the point. And all the while I got to watch him fawn over this girl who was quite frankly one of those. Granted I was probably 30, 40 pounds heavier at the time. Even though that's the place I was coming from then, now that I've transformed physically. I go through even different things. It never ends. I don't care if it's Heidi Klum or Tyra Banks or anybody. They all, we all have insecurities. And I just love how that, that message is so universal. I like movies that make me cry. So I love songs that make me feel emotion. And I Don't Care is another one of those like Not Tonight that's pretty sad. Every time I listen to it, I think of a different situation, a different romance gone wrong, or something that almost happened but couldn't. It's a very real song for me. I'm Mel Varner. 
your new music director. Your artist, your music, your link.